Okay. Um, so I was uh, thinking over the weekend, I realized that um, most people is living a sad life. And, and they love their sad life. And they protect their sad life. And if you try to tell them that you don't have to live a sad life, you can live a happy, free, amazing life, they fight you on it. And I noticed that they fight even with themselves because there are some people who work to try to wake up, but when they get to the verge of waking up, they overreact because they really love their misery. I noticed, too, that most people love, just love living in the past and the future. And if you try to take that away from them, they'll kill you. They love their memories. Even in bad relationships, when the relationships are ending, are ending, ending they love to think about how good it was. Or, oh, I should go back to her or him because I remember we used to walk on the beach. Or I remember when we used to this or that. And it's just a memory, and then they'll get back together and start the hell all over again and not realize they just went back to false memories. That happened then. That's not what's happening now. And it's, it's so amazing. And I understand it, but it's so amazing how attached human beings are to the false self. It's interesting, too, that you don't have to be attached to the false self. You can be free just like that. And then for those who are, are working to overcome, you get opportunity all the time to overcome the false self. But instead of overcoming it, you overreact and you stay with it. It's like you think you're protecting someone by, you th by thinking that you're protecting yourself. And it's amazing to see. It's just so amazing to me how blind we are as human beings and as a result how destructive we are and everything we call good is evil. We love evil. Um, I was thinking about this guy, um, Diddy, that, the singer, actor. You know, he's going through a lot. We're hearing about him. He's like a musician, right? A rapper or something? Yeah. And, and he's going through a lot of stuff now. And so I want to talk about that a little bit, but it just occurred to me. I want to hear how many people for me you heard about the story, what's happening with Diddy now? Oh, everybody there, huh? Everybody love Diddy. <laughs> um, what do you think about what's happening with Diddy right now? Even though we don't know the people involved, we don't know the whole story, and we don't know if the story is true or not. Well, th well, these is, rumors have how gone much back is since. And how much is false? We just don't know. Just mm -hmm. FYI. Yeah. But what do you think about Diddy and the story? What's your impression about it? Uh, these rumors go back to like their late 90s. And I think that if somebody has been saying something about you for a long time, then you're constantly being accused of the same thing. You're probably, you're probably been doing those things that people have accused you of. And so what do you think about what he's been accused of and what he's going through now. Well, I mean, and I've, the people that, even I, though we don't know the people involved yet, but the people, I don't, I don't what think, do you think about the, the ordeal itself? Uh, what do I, um, I think it doesn't matter because it's been so long that this happened and they're finally doing something about it now. So it's like, why, why are you moving to do something about it now? I feel like it's just being used as, as a distraction to, to, uh, I don't know, proliferate something else. I just think it's, I don't know, a distraction. It's a media distraction. Oh, okay. Like many things. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, I, I react strongly to this one because uh, <clears throat> it's just amazing to me to see that this is a public lynching, basically, is what it is. <clears throat> I'm familiar with the indictment. I, 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 I've gone through it a little bit. And basically, all the guy was essentially having parties, orgies, and, and flying in prostitutes. According to the series. <laughs> yeah, according to the indictment. Yeah. Okay, Flying in prostitutes for his friends to all partake in, and then 
that's called sex trafficking. So then it becomes, and then if you have a, if you have a, he's got a lot of people that work for him that are setting up these parties and everything. So they're using the RICO Act, the, the conspiracy, the racketeering act right. to basically throw him away and lock up the key and stuff like that. And it's just like, these people are, um, they're all willing participants in this. They're all adults. Yeah. They're all know what they're doing. And now they just want to take down this powerful man because that's what they like to do. It's evil, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know all the facts. Right. We'll see what comes out. But to me, it just seems like a public lynching because it's just somehow fun to take down a, a rich, powerful guy. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's how I see it. Anybody that want to comment on this story? What you Impression of it, yeah. It seems like an opportunity um, to point the finger outward at someone, and then again using that to say that I'm a good person. If I hate this person, P. Yeah. Diddy, oh, he's such a bad man. I hate him. He's which I'm not saying. I don't know if he did these things or not, but. It gives a lot of people, the public, an opportunity to say, uh, I hate him, then in contrast, that makes me a good person. So yeah. people, are, people always want to look outward and never look inward. Amazing. Absolutely. How about the ladies? What do you think about the daily story? The little you've heard, what impression did it have upon you? Um, well, it's... Yeah, it's been going on a long time, and I think, but he does have a lot of money, and he's been able to silence a lot of these things, like the video that came out with him and Cassie, the beating. He's a billionaire, and when you have money and power, you're able to silence these things, pay people off, and these all these yes people around you, they're not going to say, you know, we probably shouldn't be doing this, maybe we shouldn't be giving them drugs. Um you know, yeah, they're all adults, they're all consenting, but some of these women being sex trafficked and when they're under the influence of drugs, and yes, they're, they're making decisions themselves, but he's had all this power and it's, it's coming to light, just like with R. Kelly and or Epstein. And um, after a while, the stories keep building and building and They've got videotape, and when the U.S. government comes against you, I mean, it's not looking good for Sean Combs at all. Oh. Um, but I think when you do these things, you know, God starts to expose the evil acts. And I'm sure there's a lot of people involved, though. He's had Prince Harry. He's had a lot of people. So I don't know why they're targeting him. I'm sure there's a lot of people in Hollywood that should be targeted. But, Amazing. you know, okay. it is what it is. Uh, what do you think about it? I think it's no different from Jeffrey Dahmer. It's evil. It's all hell. It's just that Diddy's in the spotlight right now. But for every Diddy, there's probably hundreds of millions of people that are just like it. It's just that they're not famous and they're not being exposed and it's not a big deal because it's not on media. But I oh. think it's no different from it's just hell. Okay. What do you think about it, if you've thought about it, the Diddy story? I'm skeptical of any stories coming out of the media at this point, so I have no Me opinion. Too. I look at what's happening to Donald Trump, and uh, I just don't believe anything that the media says. If they're for anything, I'm skeptical. If they're against it, I'm skeptical. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, sir. What hasn't been mentioned probably is the real story is that Diddy's got the evidence on a lot of people. You know what I mean? All right. Just like Epstein has. So right now, people are like, get a suicide alert for Diddy in prison. He's at a low staff, understaffed uh, place. So okay. Diddy, Diddy might, you know, suicide it accidentally. You know what I'm saying? That's the real story. They're going to silence him. He's a billionaire. You don't just put billionaires in jail. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So he would, knows too much. Would you ever do what Diddy has been accused of doing? I want to say no. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, up to where I'm at in life right now, I've never, 
uh, attempted anything that he does, maybe because I don't have money like that, but I just think it's, it's. Uh, so would you ever do what Diddy ha is no, been accused of? No. You would never do it? I would hope not. You would never do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you ever do what Diddy has been accused of doing? Having those parties, women over, and just having a hooting at them time. Who wants to come over? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that know that you have a lot of money and you're famous? I probably would. You probably would? Yeah. Okay. Would you ever do what Diddy has been Accused of doing, having parties and everybody over, smoking, drinking, sessing, freak, freak and everything. Would you ever? I mean, now, no, I have before, of course. But I think that there's a little more to the story. And it's interesting, though. I kind of agree with everything everybody's saying. Right. But my urge to, or my instinct to judge him is being challenged because it is very important to stay calm and not fall for that trick. Yeah. And I do think it is a distraction for sure. Yeah. But I also think it's very possible because those parties are fun and a lot of people like to have fun. And if you have that power to bring people in and film them, you can blackmail them yeah. just like Epstein did. And could he be that guy? Very possibly, but it's important to remember that you don't know for sure. I don't right. know for sure, but something in my head tells me that's what he's doing. I don't want to get caught up in that. Yes. But the urge is unbearable almost. As soon as I saw that, I fell victim to that. I was like, oh, I know what he's up. Because I know some of these people, and they do do things like that. Right. But so you, you have to pull you way at, back, I think. So you went to one of Epstein's party or Diddy's party? <laughs> There's, there, the world's a big place. <laughs> There's a lot of different things going on. Yeah. I never did like any of the things that they're talking about, though. With, right. Because you're course. talking about parties or you're talking about, like, raping people and filming it. That's a whole other thing. And right. that's what he's being accused of. It's not just, oh, look at these parties. Yeah, there's way more to it. Yeah. But it's my job as a human being to pull back and not just believe what the media is telling me. Nice. Right on, man. Did you judge Danny when you heard the story? Um... Well, it's hard not to with all the rumors circulating, but at the end of the day... Did you, did you judge him? Yeah. You judged him? Yeah. And, and, and how, why did you judge him? Uh, just uh, based on the allegations and also my personal feeling about him. Just because uh, he's, for a long time, he's been, you know, like there's the... People think that he had something to do with Tupac's death, and it just seems like he's been shady for a long time. Especially but, what people say about him in uh, Justin Bieber. But do you know if any of what they said is true or not? I don't. And even if it's true and you knew it was true, you would, would you judge him? At this point, no, because I'm trying not to judge people. All right. Yeah. No, okay. Amazing. Uh, yes, Raymond, you judged him? No, I did not judge him because I don't know every... I don't know everything about the facts about this situation. And had you known the facts, let's say you were at the party. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I don't know if I'll last you? even a couple of days in a party like that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have judged him? Even then, I wouldn't, because I still wouldn't know, uh, know all the facts. Because right. people like them have the wet method of hiding, every, uh, hiding a lot of things from a lot of people, even if they, if they invited them in. Okay. Amazing. Anybody else just did he? You just him. No, no, I, I, I just had to say that women can be crazy sometimes, man, and you mess around with a lot of women. Yeah. So something's going to happen, man. I think that's, you know what I mean? That's yeah. like the moral of the story. So what you're saying is you have beat women up and down the hallway at the no. hotel? No. <laughs> <laughs> because they're so crazy, you beat them at the hotel? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> 
But you're right. Yeah, man. Absolutely. That's, that's so what it comes back to. You mess. You have to know who you're with, romantically or sexually, and yeah. you mess around with hundreds, thousands of women. One of come on, yeah. girls can be crazy, man. Nice. Uh, yes, sir. And then James, you had your hand. Okay. In stories like this, I've noticed that a lot of times it's somebody 10 years ago participated willingly, and then like 10 years later, they're like, oh, I regret doing that. Yeah. I'm going to sue, because yeah. uh, yeah. I, I made a bad decision 10 years ago. That's um, a good I'm point. suing Donald Trump more. I'm suing this person. I'm a, I, I don't know. I, that's weird. Did you judge? Did, did you? I, I, your first reaction is to, but no. Because it, it, I don't know all the facts. And what was part, your first reaction to want to judge him? Was like, oh, he's going down. But I like what everybody's saying. The distract, <laughs> that he's going down. The distracting oh. thing is kind of. It, it, there's a, yeah. why now, right before the election. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay. Like they've had all this evidence. Why was your time? first reaction to want to judge him? That's it's it's the evil in me to the the evil of me saying oh but because but then I, when you when you. Kick back and you're like, whoa! I I don't like Raymond said. I don't know anything about this. I'm just a person in the world. What do I know about this? Right. And let's say that you knew about it and it was all true. Would you judge him then? Only if I was on the jury. No, I mean. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I that uh, that's because all the things I've learned here and about life, I I have no business doing that. Yeah. Okay. I have no business doing that. Nice. Yes, James. <laughs> Uh, I, I've always been very anti-bandwagoner, and so I judge the bandwagoners, the people like, because it, it was like a whole across-the-board crowd going after Diddy right now yeah. online. And I just roll my eyes, but I ne notice myself judging them. And I don't even know or care about the Diddy thing. Right. Like I, I don't even so like you're that judging name. the people that judging Diddy? Yeah. yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> I did catch a little bit of Anchor Baby's show, and he was reading like the indictment and how it's like this black prosecutor guy who's just trying to get his, maybe just trying to get his name out or something like that. But um, it's crazy because people look down on powerful men who go crazy with women, but the weaker men would go would do the same thing if they were. If they yeah. had that power, yeah, Absolutely. there's no room to judge them. Every one of you in this room would do it. If you had the money and you got the keys to New York City, and you had the power and you can draw all these people into your life, you would do the same thing. You really would. It's just you don't have the money yet. You don't have enough. <laughs> Look what you've done already with the little money that you do have. <laughs> I want to say, Dan has been accused of it. I don't know how much it's true or if it's true, it doesn't matter to me. Is that he had enough money to have a bigger doing than what you have been able to do. Every human being is Diddy. You, you just like him. And, and you're quick to judge. Because it makes you feel, I heard some guys in the gym judging Diddy. I'm like, look at you, you're no good. You hear them talk about the women and on every woman at the gym, just walking by. And I'm like, you're doing the same thing right now. If you had the money, you had to drag every woman at the gym to your house for a party. You just don't have the money, you don't have the prestige, you don't have the people around. Get some money, a buku worth some money next week, the whole California will be at your house. And you'll be partying, and you'll be having a good time. And you'll be having drinks and drugs and sex and everything else. Every human being would do it. Yes, sir. I just want to say one more thing. He, he, doesn't, have one, he doesn't have one defender. There's not one person defending him. It's insane. Meaning that no one's standing up for no him? No one's standing up for him. But that's what everyone in this room would do. All, everybody that I, you I, invite to your party, when you get caught, they gonna they gonna bag out on you too. They gonna pretend, oh, he dropped me, and I didn't know I was there. Oh yeah, you didn't know it. Why were you grinning so hard earlier? They they would do. They'll walk out on you too. I'd like to think if I had a public platform, I'd defend them. What? I'd like to think that if I had a public platform, I would defend them. Nope. Why? 
What do you mean you had a public platform? If I was a, if I had some kind of following on a social media or like something. Like if you were at the party, you mean? Yeah, or or just like or just famous, and I, I would say, hey, guy, you know. Oh, you would, mean no one is defending him? Not even the people that were not there. Or nobody's. Involved. He has got oh, nobody see. defending him. But that's the world. Right. It's sick. It's Be, really it, sick. Because you have no friends. Nobody. The world does not love itself. Nobody and, and, in the world love one another, so they're not going to defend you. And a year ago, everybody loved Diddy. Right. It was crazy. Even key to the city gave, was a year ago. He had the key to the city. Yeah. Joel had the key to Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> you think... <laughs> Hey, how did he lose that? When they find out when he was at Diddy's party, yeah. you think anybody <laughs> in our is going to defend him? It ain't going to happen. But this is the way of the world, and this is every human being. Yes, sir. Uh, something that, that you mentioned, that if we all had the money, and something that made me laugh, and it reminded me, when I first got my, my apartment on my own and everything, I was throwing parties all the time. Yep. And I was having my girlfriend bring her girlfriends to hang out with my friends. Yes. And like you said. Every like, human being would do it. Exactly. So I think, you know, going back on what I was said, what I said, I probably have done some you of have, the things. You have, not probably. Uh, you have. I have, done, <laughs> I have done some of the things you did. You just had a little small Mexican party, but it's the same thing. <laughs> all we need is beer and a speaker. <laughs> Low budget parties. But, uh. But yep. one of the things that, that that as soon as you said that, I'm like, with what little I had, I made a mess of things, yep. and and I put my friends into my mess because then yes. they would get with the girls, and then they're fighting, arguing, and everything, and they're like, "Why'd you introduce me to her?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's like, the same spirit. It's no the same different. spirit. Yes." And you're lying if you say you wouldn't do it. You will. You're just getting a, a pleasure of three of them judging Diddy yeah. and making so that you can pretend you're better. But look at your life. You've been doing it already. Every human being has been doing it already. But you don't see it because you're not seeing what's going on with you. And you're not honest about what's going on with you. Even if you see it, you're in denial. I'm better than Diddy. No, you're not. And you're so quick to believe at what you were saying. Don't believe the media about this. They're not going to tell you the truth. They want the sensation. They want the thrill so they can make money and get attention for their media. They're not going to tell the truth. But every human being would do the same thing. And you already have done it. To a certain, oh, I can't tell you the part. I've been, I know what you mean, man. Yep. I've been to no party, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I won't get into that. <laughs> but everyone is guilty of that. But they're so quick to judge. You're so quick to judge. You judge right away. 